taste of the pine tree. Today we're gonna make a wild fermented lemonade. Wild fermentation happens from wild yeasts and a sugar source, whether it's honey or sugar. Here we go. Rose hips, lots of vitamin C, coriander, lemony fresh, cardamom seeds, lots of Douglas fir, pine needles, because it has a really awesome foresty flavor, bay leaf, a little bit of ginger, and of course, our sugar source. To get the yeasts and the sugars married, to combine those two things, we need water. It needs to be unchlorinated, body temperature water. So just dissolving all of those sugars. And I'm going to allow the natural yeasts that are in the air to get in there. So I have an open vessel and I just cover it from fruit flies or your cat. And we'll every day for the next three to five days stir this vessel and you will see that there's going to be a lot of bubbles starting. We have one that has started bubbling and you can see here at the top that there is bubbling action. And I'm going to let this ferment for say 10 days pour that into some bottles, lock up that carbonation, and then have a really lovely soda pop. Mm. If you want to know more about making wild sodas, ginger ale, ginger beer, and other fermented drinks, check out our online courses, the Fermented Drinks course, and get your bubbles going on.